do you know which card pack you would like? Okay, if you take a look behind you, all of those shelves are filled with different cards. So if you just have a wander around, have a touch of the packs, have a look at the front, see, see what you're feeling, see what you're drawn to, um, and then whichever one you would like, just bring it over here and I'll do a reading. beautiful one, isn't it? Well, if you can't decide, just narrow them down and then eventually you'll figure out which one you want. Please bring it over. get you to do is you just hold them. Take them, hold them. Okay. Have a shuffle if you want. Good. Let me see. Okay, so the three readings I could do, uh, there is a one card spread and that is for instant guidance when you want 
guidance quickly. I could do a two card spread. The soul calling spread is a great one for getting into a dialogue with your soul. This two card layout will provide clear guidance on what your soul is calling you toward. I think there is two three card spreads. There is the Holy Trinity three card spread. Uh, it's a fantastic three card layout for checking in with your head, body and heart. We have the Holy Trinity three card spread, the decision maker. It's fantastic for helping you make decisions if you're contemplating anything, looking to buy a house, new jobs. We have the 11 card spread. The Cosmic Cross layout is great when you are looking for more detailed guidance. So which one would you like? The 11 card? Okay, so what I want you to do is uh, write down some questions. It's awfully windy out there today and it's still quite warm so I don't know whether I need to wear something big and cosy or something light. We're entering that really awkward phase of never wearing the right amount of clothing. Absolutely anything in your life. So the cards aren't going to give you specific yes no answers unless you pull those two specific cards out. Um, it's more of a guidance on things you're looking for. So I'll just give you this. Um, if you write your questions down, I don't want to see them. Just write your questions down, tear off the paper and pop it into your pocket, okay? those back. Thank you. So you've shuffled these. I have a good feel of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle them um, while you write your questions down, okay?
I'm going to be using the book for guidance. Um, as you can see, I have over 200 packs of tarot cards, oracle cards, fairy cards, and each one are unique. Um, I'm familiar with about 70 packs of them, but these are one of the newer packs, so I will be using the book for guidance. to split the pack into three collect them however we want is I just want you to point to 11 cards and those will be your cards Whichever one you feel drawn to. Okay, so this one's four. Okay, so this card is number one and then the top card is number eleven. beautiful to look at. Okay, so our number one is transformation. And this is in relation to where are you in the present time? Where are you right now? 
the transformation card is an activation card so I'm just going to remind you the time of what the card means so an activation card is a card that activates energies and healings within you or the person you're reading for these cards are all about activating who we are at soul level uh, they all have an activation invocation to be read aloud So it's 106 So the transformation card Things are changing at a cellular level You are not who you were a year ago or who you will be soon You are between emerging Half risen, half falling. Keep doing the work. You are transforming. You will look back at this time with awe. So much is happening in your inner world, within yourselves. It's time to release old ways of being that have kept you in the fight, flight, freeze mode. To choose a new way of being where trauma is not the driving force. Old childhood patterns are rising up to be healed As you allow yourself to observe them and feel them without attachment They loosen their grip and fall away You're being called to find new ways to self-soothe Saturn and the Black Madonna and the African goddess Oshun influence this card Saturn represents destruction and transformation the Black Madonna represents the underground and all that has been cast aside and Oshun represents the tender love of the original mother A rethreading is happening healing at the deepest of levels where you are in this phase don't put yourself under pressure to perform you may need to review your relationship with your body perhaps even shifting your diet or exercise regime or getting energetic healing support You may also need to consider some kind of emotional support as issues from your childhood may come up to be healed You are deeply loved So the work your light activation So hold the card to your heart and repeat after me I allow myself to receive the deepest healing and transformation for change to happen at cellular level Okay, so that is where you are right now That is what is happening in the present time So something at the moment is changing and I think I think that's Quite generalized for everybody. I think everybody is, is going through changes at this very moment in time um, Having all this time has allowed us to do that So that is the present time Number two, this is what your soul is calling you to do the great Gathering. So this is what your soul is asking you to do The Great Gathering is It's another activation card Again, there's another invocation on here. Ninety-six, I think. You are being called to let your intuition move you physically. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. And as you travel and share your creations, something is rethreaded. 
This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at soul level, or that you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming part of the group. This can support you and your soul's personal mission. You are part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself. So already, this is connected to the first one. Um, so the first one is about healing and looking into yourself, and the second one is very similar. Um, you're part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line and the planet, to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come. One of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. Have you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that could be it then. It's time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share what is real and true to you, and you share the medicine that you most need. Those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. You are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Okay, I'll give you that card again. So, repeat after me. I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. Wonderful. Okay, now, card number three. What is rising in you? Well, yes, it could be. So, position one and two are linked. So let's see what three brings. So three is Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. So, oh, Sisterhood of the Rose, I believe it's an action card. Yes, okay. So, an action card is cards that give guidance and inspire specific physical action. Energetically, these cards are here to prompt some sort of movement. So, for what is rising in you, you have an activation card. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devote their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. A cross-section of ancient lineages, it is the path devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolises the heart and the sacred geometry of all life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to spend more time in nature as all the ancient secrets live there, Mother Earth is constantly whispering. Spend time admiring her creations, and you will be rewarded with insight and grace. You are being called to take a little more time to both notice the beauty that exists all around you, 
and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way too. So, looking at the first two, you said that you've done a lot of self-reflecting already in this time, um, and that you have started to attend certain things that you're passionate about, um, Mm-hmm. Well, if you've been looking at attending climate change protests, I guess this is, uh, is one that's giving you a little push. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I know there's there's a lot and it's it it can be a case of do you spread yourself and go to them all or do you want to focus on a different one and from what you said it looked like you were kind of leaning towards more of those um, and the card certainly suggests that it's going down an interesting route. So, we have just going to that is quite noisy that so number four what is falling away so just as number three what is rising in you what are you looking to do what new actions are you taking um, a card for his what is falling away and this is Keepers of the Earth. There is a definite theme so far. Keepers of the Earth. Here's again an activation card. <clears throat> you are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have done already and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them to devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This has come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers, or people flocking to help you and your work. Okay, so I'll give you this card. What kind of support do you need? Call it right away. So repeat after me. I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work. And I call it in now. So if you want to include any specific requests, you can. So, Keepers of the Earth very much ties in with everything we're doing. The falling away could be more of um, asking for the support, so some people need help. I tend not to want to ask for it, and the kind of person you are. So it's just saying, what kind of support do you need? Call for it right away. So the falling away is the trying to do this all on your own. If you call for the support, you'll find that it's there. 
I've never had such a specific, um, specific pattern in the cards before. You must have really been asking them questions. So, number five is Soul Gifts. And we have for Soul Gifts is Soul Family, which is an action card. Um, Soul Family is an action card and this is an action that you should be taking. It is time to call in your Soul Family and support team. People who get you at Soul Level. People who are the same kind of weird as you. People who are your chosen family. They are coming and they are looking for you. If you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by. But in order for them to find you and recognise you when they do, it is important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. If you have already found them, then you're being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. Your support team can consist of all types of people such as a therapist, coach, mentor or healer. Tune in to what kind of support you need now. Wow. Okay. So, I think we know where we're going with this. What have we for... Number six, what is being manifested? What is being manifested? And this is the inner temple. The inner temple, another action card. You're getting a lot of uh, activation and action cards. So I like to see inner temple, devotion. Tune in to the portal of your heart. You're being called to be devote to be a devoted student and tune into your heart. To incorporate true devotion into your life. You could be called to develop a regular meditation, journaling, or chanting practice, or to show up to your soul with rhythm. To develop a daily practice where you fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All of the answers to all of your questions that you seek are waiting for you in the portal of your heart. But you cannot hear them unless you carve out time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you. And so the more time you spend with it and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. So this could relate to one of the questions you have written down. I don't want to see them. Um, quite often when people pull this card, it is because um, they have had something on their mind for quite a long time and they're at a crossroads, they're not sure which way to go. This card is just telling you to, f I would say the easiest way to describe it is to meditate on it. Carve out, even if it's 10 minutes every day. Start out with a nice easy meditation. Just close your eyes and just let your thoughts drift. And then eventually you can start to bring in the questions that you have. So if they're relating to these, maybe give yourself a week of meditation and then start to bring in the questions and you can think about those questions while you're meditating and you get a clearer idea of which way you should go. Okay, now we have
that was six, we have seven. So seven. The next step, and this is dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So this is the next step you should take in your life. Again, another action card. You are most certainly being called to make some big changes. Life is always moving. If you resist this ever-changing flow, your energy will become stagnant and you will fall out of flow with the universe. The universe has mysterious intelligent force, a natural rhythmic beat which governs all of us. One of the best ways to shift your energy, frequency and vibration is to put on some music and dance along with it. When we dance unrestrained, our spirit takes over and with each new bop, sway and kick, we are rocked back into harmony with the rest of life. Get unstuck by doing something that shifts your vibration. Put on some music, dance unrestricted and fall into the frequency of life. In doing so, your body will begin to learn how to be moved by your intuition, which is connected with this systemic beat. If dancing isn't your thing, then simply do something that you would not usually do to shift the energy. You cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it, and you cannot attract a different experience without changing your energy first. It's time to shift things up, and find a way to dance along with the beat of life. So, this card is calling you to change your energy. You can take it literally, if you like, and you can dance, um, but what it is asking you to do is just change something up in your life. Do something new, physically. Um, so maybe just get moving a little bit more. If you find that meditation isn't your thing, maybe go out for a nice walk with some music on. Maybe dance around in the kitchen. You've just got to uh, to get moving a little bit more. Okay. Boundaries number eight. So. Past life influence. So boundaries. First time we've had an inquiry card. So you're getting an inquiry card for your past life influence. this inquiry card. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So this is in relation to anything that's coming up from the past. It could be some memories, it could be um, a family member. You're being called to create clearer boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. If you are saying yes when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or fear of loss. Okay, so you have been thinking about that. Well, um, maybe while you meditate or go for a walk, think about how that person now fits into your life. Um, it's not necessarily saying get rid of them, it's just if you're constantly doing things and you don't want to and you feel like it's holding you back, then have a think about the relationship and how that could change. Yeah, I think we all... It's a lovely 
idea that you're friends with people your whole life and the people you meet in school are your friends forever but the truth of it is people grow and they grow differently and they have different ideas and um, just because you were friends with someone when you were very young doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go along the same path and stay friends forever friendships don't have to be forever sometimes somebody can come in your life um, and they fill a certain part of your life and then they leave and there's nothing wrong with that okay so we have card number nine what you need to know this is deep replenishment deep replenishment another action card so what you need to know the most selfless thing you can do is fill up your own inner well when we are running around half filled we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You are no good to anyone if you are running on empty. The feminine is bountiful, fertile and rich. Tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. So, what you need to know, I think that was pretty clear, you need to take better care of yourself. Um, self-care, self-love, whether it is taking 10 minutes every day to meditate, whether it is getting out into nature for a walk, whether it is going to a beauty salon and getting a treatment, eating healthier, you need to take time for yourself could be an extra hour in bed so whatever you feel like you are lacking in your life that if you just change a little bit um, you'd feel better try working on that number 10 hopes and fears and we have answer the call which is an inquiry card So answer the call, hopes and fears. So this is thirty-six. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing, rather than a lifelong dance. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. So this card is telling you if there's something that you're looking to do and that you're a bit fearful of, your hopes and fears, just go for it. And the final card. Break the chain. And break the chain is potential outcome. Another action card. So I'll break the chain, it's a potential outcome. You're being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your maternal or paternal line, healing trauma from the past that is not even yours, or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. We carry emotional trauma in our luminous field 
up to seven generations back. This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. Often they are not even ours to begin with, but we do not know other ways of being, so we can continue playing out the drama. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. So the work your light action, what old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go? Seek assistance from your support team, tribe, friends, healer, coach, and begin freeing yourself from it now. So I think this can link back to um, your boundaries that you said that you had with your family. Um, this card is, is almost a what could happen if you don't set your boundaries. It's kind of reminding you that this path, this journey that you want is most definitely right for you and to meditate and think about the people or the things that are holding you back, whether that be friends, family, um, and most importantly, take some time for yourself. Okay. say that the questions they've written down get answered along with these. I don't like being shown them because sometimes you you make the cards you make the cards answer the questions whereas I like to have the questions private uh, you keep them and then whatever is pulled out then you can think how those relate to the questions you've asked. Okay well, I hope that's helped you today, and I hope that's helped uh, clarify some things for you. And uh, good luck on your journey. It sounds like a, a wonderful and fulfilling one. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Okay, I'll see you later.